All right, this is Crypto Cannabis. This is the Crypto Cannabis DAP. And right here, we are connecting with our Tron wallet. And here it is loading strain data. It's all on-chain data that are ledgered on the Tron blockchain. And it'll take a little bit to grab all these on-chain data of strain infos, uh, user infos. So here we are in the front interface landing dashboard. And here's the grow room. Now this shows XP elements, list elements, all strains that can be grown. Here are the list elements right here. Here are the growth XP, that ledger uh, balancing growth times and reducing growth times. So obviously pay one reduces one minute on the leaf up tokens in the logic. Leaf up tokens are TRC 10 and TRC 10 sativa and indica tokens. So we have a show balance uh, for blank balances to hide blank balances and a reload balance for when tokens are used. Here we're going to deposit a thousand Indica GNC tokens to equal 100% of a Indica type plants um, need to put into batch growth. Now any uh, dispensary can customize and have this interface customized to read any token of their choice um, and any amount of tokens in their choice customized to their own needs. So in leaf up tokens we're depositing some leaf up tokens to use to reduce growth times and this is to uh, utility keeping up a this ledger system for real plants in a licensed dispensary uh, grow house. So if their plants are going to be ready uh, sooner than expected, they can use leaf up to uh, reduce the time to keep up with the growth cycle. So here we are in the strains interface tab. We're going to put a Afghani plant that requires a thousand indica gene seed because Afghani is an uh, indica gene type cannabis plant. So we have that into batch growth. And here's some other plants here. We can choose uh, a sativa one. So we'll put a full sativa leaning Jamaican land race strain into batch growth. So plant seeding is a success. Let's go to our account and here we can see what is growing and we have the option to speed up growth on either of these plants so if the real plant in the dispensary is going to be finished before uh, typically usually expected for that strain type we'll use the utility tokens to speed up this growth So we can go ahead and reload our balance to see that the tokens have been drawn from our uh, balance wallet account. So when we deposit uh, these tokens into this contract for the CCG DAP, uh, this contract is housing the tokens and taking them from our wallet to have utility within the DAP uh, contract and UX UI interface here that we are seeing and using. So here's this updated our leaf up balance it's actually given also a update on the image growth so it's got looks like a plant rather than just a seed with some uh, budding flowers on it it's a little dynamic um, components here we go so we have another hundred leaf up that have been reduced and we've reduced the growth time by another hundred minutes you can see the plant is further advanced in growth from the seed state has more flowering uh, buds on it. So go ahead and um, yeah, let's go ahead and reduce the growth for the rest of the time, 108 minutes. We'll sign this transaction. Reload the balance. Well, here we go. Now it's flipped over to the harvestable state tab. So now we can go ahead and harvest this plant. 
So for dispensary, you can see that you have your, which plants are batched and growing in one grow room, and you can have a separate contract for a different grow room for one strain and a different grow room for another strain for this interface. So you can have two contracts um, and two different interfaces for different grow rooms if you'd like, depending on your size and magnitude of utility and business needs <coughs> for ledgering. And again, this system is meant for ledgering and seed to sale tracking for compliancy to state and local governments uh, that require reporting for licensed medical and recreational uh, cannabis growth. And this is how we can utilize uh, blockchain technology through the efficiency of the Tron blockchain to succeed uh, this business industry. So, um, yep, we've harvested and completed. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the rest of the indica, uh, sorry, the uh, leaf up tokens to. Uh, you know, show that this is put into a batch growth a little faster. And here we go. Reload the balance. And there, logic that those have been used and no longer are in here unless we deposit more. And it's updated the seed into a sproutling growth for this one. So, and there's a lot more strains that can be grown um, and programmed into these interfaces. Again, uh, cu all customizable to a dispensary's needs. And here we even have, uh, you can use cross-breeding strains. So cross strains that require a partial part of another strain and, and a good gene seed. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.